she getting back to crap time or what? Y'all know I'm crap time. Okay, team crap time. Yes, your girl been working out, okay? Now I know technically I don't have any goals. <laughs> we talked about that one, okay, self love. But um, <laughs> I do have some paintings in the works. Y'all know these past couple paintings I've been using myself as the model and as a muse. So, you know, just when you, you know, thinking about a photo shoot, thinking about painting yourself, you're like, okay, let me, let me get back to me and how I identify and how I see myself, you know. It feels like I haven't been in the studio forever. So I think last time we saw each other, where were we at? We were at Bellevue. Oh, Bellevue Art Museum, yes. You wanna say hey to the vlog? Yes, Captain Alicia's hey. here. I know, they miss you. Oh, they miss you guys. Right. Look, we're here at the Bellevue Art Museum. You know, this is where, this is where chocolate milk was. Yep. Yep. She was right here. And they like partitioned off. I know. I was like, trying let's to go. Like, no, let's, just go. let's go over here. So I saw his exhibit at the Art Institute of Chicago. Yeah. The, like the presidential portrait. Right. It was crazy. It was crazy. Oh my God. I, oh my God. Mm. Just the gaze like Look at the watch. You see the, the detail there on the watch. See them licking the towel? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, y'all, it was like so dope. <sighs> that exhibit was just so amazing. And um, so y'all know I love Kahinde Wiley and I actually got one of his books that was in the gift shop and it just like breaks down you know his pieces and what inspires them and like what renaissance painting he's referencing and like how he is really like rewriting the narrative i haven't delved into it all the way but even just from like what i'm thumbing through just like oh, no and like the sculpture work he's been doing has just been it's been everything for me it's truly been everything and so it was even dope seeing his seeing some of the items he had in the gift shop like the notebooks the journals the basketballs uh playing cards you know and so for me that just even dispels the myth even more that you know putting your art on like merch or prints or t-shirts or whatever will like devalue the work i'm sure kahinde wally's work is not being devalued because it's on the basketball okay <laughs> of anything it's making it accessible for me so now i can like i can you know, I can feel like I, I can feel like a collector. You know, I can feel like I'm collecting art. <laughs> Shout out to my collectors, though. Okay, talking to speaking of procrastinating, your girl's not procrastinating. She's getting on her game today. I'm actually shipping off the painting to um, my dear collector, and just like y'all, y'all just y'all just truly make all of this worthwhile. So it's this piece that I'm gonna be shipping off to my collector. I was trying to get it out to her before uh, 
before we left for Sacramento. Oh, I didn't even tell you. Yeah, so that's why I feel like I haven't been in the studio for a while because I had went to Sacramento to celebrate my sister in love. Okay, we don't say in law, it's in love, which is Andy's sister, y'all. She's officially a doctor. Like, I'm just... Oh my God, I'm so proud of her. She's an ob -gyne, okay? So her residency was even longer. So to have like a black woman ob -gyne, I'm just like, I'm like, girl, can you deliver my baby? I'm gonna need you to be in Seattle so you could deliver our babies. We just recently got back and so I was trying to get this painting out before we left, but your girl is doing it now, okay? I need to put a layer of gesso on it, clean it up, get it signed, make sure she has her uh, certificate of authenticity and all the super goodies, so yes. That's what I'm about to dive into. have been really like flowy and watery. I've been pouring them on the ground. And so with this one, I was like experimenting with a little bit of texture. You might notice it's me. <laughs> okay, this year girl wear locks, okay. I was doing like, just taking some random photos, doing like a little study. Um, it's just not matching the flow of how, of just how loose the other ones are. It's just like this one just feels so like stiff and feels, I don't know, like, I mean, it's cute, but I just want it to feel more loose. It's given rigidity, so let's destroy it. <laughs> Maybe not destroy, it's just experiment, experimentation. I'm about to hop on this call. So I'm actually uh, one of the panelists for a grant that's out here in Washington. And I love being on panels. I feel like it helps me see like, you know, different artists that's out here in the city, what they up to, as well as like it helps me improve my applications when I'm applying for different grants and art awards and scholarships and stuff. I think the world will be surprised how much admin work we do as artists and how much we're actually on the computer and doing emails and applying for stuff and, you know, talking with collectors, talking with galleries and all sorts of stuff, so. Yeah, that's part of it. Let's dive in.
So I'm working on multiple paintings at a time. Y'all know how I do. If you don't know, if you are new here, <laughs> welcome boo. I'm Irma's Hamer. I'm a full-time artist working in Seattle, Washington. I paint large scale cosmic queens and all the colorful things. That's usually what I say, but I feel like the queens haven't been too cosmic lately. So I don't know. I mean, so actually I've recently finished um, like a Zodiac series and I feel like all of those were the cosmic queens. I don't know. Anywho, welcome. Okay. <laughs> you here now. You made it. You made it. So <laughs> I started showing y'all a little bit of the background process in another video, but let me show you a little bit more. I started to work in um, like the portrait and the face. And like, as I was painting, I was just like, it just felt a little too heavy handed. It felt a little too, I've, I mean, if y'all been kind of following along, I've been sort of entering this, like my abstract era, you know, <laughs> entering abstraction for the past four years with the Zodiac series. I was doing like very detailed portraits of women, like creating every component of their face. I mean, so you can kind of, this is Pisces here. Yeah, another mural that I did back in the day. Capricorn here, the chains. Leo here. Libra. So since those paintings were so like, maybe detailed, is detailed the right word? And I was like painting every single aspect of their features and portraits. And of course I really love how those turned out at the end of the day, but I want, I want to enter this a little bit more abstraction. Like, and so when I think about abstraction and um, the conscious mind and the, and the subconscious mind and there being like the veil between the two where we aren't fully aware of everything that's going on in our own mind. Like sometimes we can't even articulate how we feel, you know, because it's like we literally don't know and it takes that moment to like sit and reflect and journal and have talk, talk therapy, um, you know, do hypnosis, um, you know, dream journaling, y'all. Y'all know with my dream, it's, that's a whole nother conversation for the dreams. But, okay, so with this piece, I was like, ah, I don't, I kind of like things being behind a veil. I like mysticism. I like the things that are unknown. I love the occult. I love magic, you know. And so to be able to have this element of mystery, I think draws me into something a little bit more versus something being so clear or so obvious, you know? I think what's nice about abstraction, even though I, I, I kind of ebb and flow, y'all. Like one minute I want to paint a portrait, next minute I want to throw colors around and just see what it becomes, <laughs> you know? I really do dance on both sides of it, but the thing that I do really like about um, portraits is for you to just experience the beauty, you know? I feel like it's very accessible to people. It's very very welcoming you know like when you see something that like just looks beautiful when you see something that you're familiar with whether that's a landscape of trees or a portrait of a woman you're like okay cool I can see that I'm familiar with that I can associate that and I can also give a judgment of that whether I like it or not or like whether it's good or bad you know I think when you enter sort of abstract art um, I feel like the lay person or just the common average person who doesn't feel fully educated about art might feel isolated in those contexts but whenever I hear stuff like that I feel like art is not as deep as people try to make it seem you know like I want us to feel autonomous and to have agency in the decision making power of if we like something or not you know not like oh am I <laughs> oh I don't I don't get this painting so I don't know if I'm wrong or if I'm right like I don't know if if maybe I just don't like it because I don't get it it's like no if you don't like something that's totally fine, you know? Um, and I don't think you have to like get it or be formally trained in art history or gone to art school to, fu to fully be able to connect with a piece of work, you know? If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't, <laughs> you know? But this <laughs> is what this piece became. I started to pour the paint and I fell in love with this piece even more because it was a level of abstraction that I really enjoyed and seeing her kind of go in the background and have this orange on top and even the way that the colors were bleeding through the texture of the locks, I felt like added this la this layer of flame. And I don't know if that video is gonna be out yet. No, it'll be out. Um, I recently shared another painting that I worked on that's very fiery, heated, flame, fierce energy. So 
in this sort of summer warmer temperatures i'm definitely drawn to more yellows and reds um versus my typical cool tones blue hues purple hues that i paint more so in the winter you know and so this has been this has really been fun experimenting with um the warmer colors but yeah so i think there is something to be said about things behind the veil you know and the and the things that are hidden there's also